Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. And this is a question from GET 2020's question paper. The question is based on the variation theorem. And I have told you all the quantum mechanics and the variation theorem with all the questions in a very detailed manner. So if you want to see that theorems and that questions, then you can watch our playlist of quantum mechanics. Okay, now see the solution of this question. See here, what thing we have given? We have given the percentage error round of two decimal places in the ground state energy of a particle in a one dimensional box of length a described by a trial variation function phi is given to us x a minus x where value of x is between a and 0 okay it means our limits are a and 0 okay and what thing we have to find out we have to find out here the percentage error right and one thing we have given is that the true ground state energy of the our system is h square upon 8 ma square and another thing we have given that the integration between phi star phi d2 is equal to a to power 5 upon 30 that thing we have given okay so according to the variation theorem what thing we have to find out we have to find out the energy according to this trial wave function that is given to us so what is the formula for this this is in this manner integration phi star h operator hamiltonian operator phi d2 divided by integration of phi phi star d2 okay and this thing we have given this thing we have given and we have to find out this value okay so for this value write down this here these are the limits a to 0 phi star h phi dx okay this will be the value that we have to find out okay and why we have given what is this this is x a minus x okay so just put this value here x a minus x and its value write down here minus h bar square upon 2m d square upon dx square and then x a minus x dx right okay now what we have to do integration a to 0 x a minus x and then this value this is a constant value so we can put it outside okay so we are taking it outside the integration term right and d square upon dx square x a minus x dx right now firstly we have to find out this differentiation okay so we are doing this here d square upon dx square we are opening the bracket so it will be equal to x a minus x square okay this thing we have to find out so first differentiation do its first differentiation when we are doing this is a constant value okay so its value will be equal to a okay and this is x square and its differentiation will be equal to 2x right now again do the differentiation this is a constant value so its differentiation will be equal to 0 and its differentiation will be equal to minus 2 so this will be the answer of this differentiation so now put its value here minus h cross square upon 2m integration x a minus x minus 2 dx okay now what we are to do we are taking this constant term outside the integration because this is a constant term okay so minus 2 and this minus 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 will cancel out and 2 to 2 cancel out so we are getting here h cross m integration of now write down this open the bracket so what we are getting x a minus x square dx okay and this can be written in this manner firstly put here this h cross will be equal to h upon 2 pi so h square will be h square upon 4 pi square m integration of now we can separate the terms okay x a dx minus integration of x square dx okay now we have to do the integration okay so when we are doing the integration this term will go outside okay so firstly put here a bracket a and then do its integration it will be equal to x square upon 2 and put here the limits a to 0 minus same thing we have to do for this do its integration x cube upon 3 okay and put here the limits 
if you don't know about the integration and differentiation if you have any difficulty then you can watch our video i will give you here the link and also in the description box i have already made a video on the mathematical aspects for the quantum mechanics so you can see that video and understand whole the terms in very clear manner okay now see here this value when we are putting this zero will means nothing okay so here when we are putting a this will be equal to a square okay and a square into a will be equal to a cube so a cube divided by 2 minus a cube divided by 3 okay and when we are simplifying this what we are getting here we are getting a cube upon 6 right that we are getting okay now what we have to do we have to find out the energy value okay so for this what we have to do energy we know is equal to this thing we have write down firstly upon integration phi star phi d2 okay now this value we know this is equal to h square upon 4 pi square m a cube upon 6 okay and this value we have given that is equal to a to power 5 upon 30 okay and when we are simplifying this this will be equal to 5 h square upon 4 pi square m a square right now we know the energy that we have find out from the trial wave function okay so we have to find out the percentage error for this what we have to do e minus actual energy for the pure wave function okay divided by the energy for the pure wave function into 100 so put this this will be equal to 5 h square upon 4 sorry this will be 4 m a square pi square okay minus this value is given to us h square upon 8 m a square divided by h square upon 8 m a square okay and then multiplied by 100 okay so what happens actually if you are simplifying this h square upon 4 m a square will come out of the bracket okay and here we are getting 5 upon pi square minus half into 100 divided by h square upon 8 m a square right and when you are simplifying it you are getting 2 into 5 divided by put the value of the pi 3.14 square minus half okay and then this whole term will be multiplied by 100 okay when we are putting the value here we are getting this will be equal to 1.4 percent it means the error is 1.4 percent in this way you can do this type of questions and i have tried to complete this question in whole detailed manner in a very simplifying manner okay and i have done most of the question in the similar way so if you want to see the simplified questions answers and various aspects of the quantum mechanics you can go through our web playlist of quantum mechanics okay you will get very easy explanation and if you like this video please share it please subscribe the channel and please comment us thank you